Welcome back to the channel everyone and today I'm going to show you the best and fastest way to do tier 5 solo. So right off the bat you need to have the VR11 triple pack as well as the Scorcher. Without these this honestly would be 10 times more difficult than what it already is. But right off the bat, just go directly to the left with the Scorcher and just knock this one out of the way. But while doing so, aim for the ladder because the less zombies chasing after you, the better. Upon doing so, go on the roof, grab this cute little raggedy old teddy bear, and then while grabbing it, go ahead and start loading up your Scorcher because that's less time zombies can grab you. And each time, either have a Casimir, aka Gersh device, or a decoy. Throw one of those out for each and every one, and you can easily get out without killing any zombies, which I will never try that challenge. But you do it for number one. I'm doing it for number two, if I could ever attach it. There it is. So that is done. Then go ahead, get on the edge, fly over to the third one. As you see right there, Casimir, pretty clutch. And then for the next one, this one is the most daunting the escort i did this one second because i wanted to end on a good note not as stressful note but upon doing so don't do what most people do and go around the side where the mega bomb is that's just not feasible whatsoever and see if there is a turret because if there is go ahead and place a circuit in that but since there wasn't for me i just went ahead and went around and went ahead and started this contract and upon doing so here i learned if whenever you do go down Try to land in front of it while it's going because while doing so, you get credit. Despite, unlike Outlast and the other contracts, you still get credit by being down in front of this. So one, it continues to push you. Two, the zombies aren't going to go after you, nor the actual machine. And three, it's pretty simple doing it this way. However, it does make a turn. But upon doing so, I got back up and then I was launching on the building to the left of it. And upon doing so with this part, you just go back and forth and dodge all the zombie meat until this is actually, re you know, done doing this first phase. And here again, I toss the Casimir behind this because you don't want to put it in front because all the zombies attack it from the back. And just wash, rinse, repeat with the Casimirs and just always, no matter what, stay in the front. As you see here, the Mega Bomb, there's just no point in attacking that. For this next phase, I went ahead and launched straight up. Usually you can land inside of the airplane little tube, but obviously I didn't make it this time. But that's where I would usually stay. And then here, obviously also, the longer you're in the air on this part, the better because it's less contact with zombies. And make sure you always keep shooting on the machine to re repair it. For the last phase, I just jumped on top of this truck here and just really camped there and just made sure the zombie meat couldn't hit me. And always make sure that the machine was refreshed. And also be mindful of ammo. And for the very last one, this one's honestly the easiest. You jump on top of these bookcases to the left and really just skate along the tops and go left and right. Because just instead of just training, you know, why work harder when you can work smarter? So you just stay on the top of this bookcase and go left and right literally the whole time. You can get by easily. One, if you have a golden plate that refreshes and two, if you just also refresh yourself. As you see, there's the third one. And that wraps it up. And this is just a quick and easy guide. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.